guys. Well, today um, I'm going to do a video on brushes. And I'll show you the ones that, that I have personally. Um, your collection doesn't have to be this big because I don't think that you need so many brushes. <laughs> I buy a lot of them and I bought, uh, you know, kits full of br brushes. Um, I'm going to start off uh, um, by showing them to you. This is just a normal brush, um, cheek brush that I got, um, and it's one of the slanted ones. This is perfect for like highlighting and um, contouring your face. So this is like no brand in particular. I actually got this one very, very cheap at uh, Big Lots. So yeah, but it's a really good brush. I've had no problem with it. Um, and it's, yeah, very good for contouring and highlighting. Then I got this one, um, this is a dual fiber brush, and I got this from Coastal Scents. There's only one problem with this. <laughs> this. This came off, and I guess the glue that's in here, um, you know, just dried out or something, because, yeah. Um, besides that, I mean, there's, it does have a lot of shedding, and, uh, but it is a good brush except for the fact that this happened to it. So yeah, this I got at Coastal Scents, but you know, for what you pay for, um, I think this one's like $8 maybe, yeah. So yeah, that's that one. That's the only dual fiber brush that I have at the moment. Um, then I have this tapered brush. This is a MAC um, 138, yeah, 138. And I really like this brush. It's really, really soft. Um, it's tapered, so you can use it with liquid foundation, cream foundation, and you can get into like places like here, or like at the sides of your nose, or like here under your eyes. Um, so that's why um, the tapered tip is so important in this brush. You can also use it as a contour brush or as a highlighting brush. So yeah, this has multiple um, purposes uh, and I'm really happy with it um, I'm glad that I bought it uh, so yeah if you're looking into buying one I recommend this one it just does not work for uh, blush okay I'll go a little faster just so that I don't make this video um, so long okay this one was part of a set that I bought for Mac and the set came with this one this one and this one and maybe another one which I don't have right here with me um, so this is a Mac 266 they're all sample size or travel sizes um, this one is for like underneath the eye or it's just you know a slanted um, eyeliner brush so you can use it for to eyeline your eye with um, a cream liner then we have um, the 239 which is a flat shader brush which you can use just to pat the eyeshadow on your eyelid. Um, so that would be this one right here, and this is a MAC 2. Then I have a MAC 219, and this is a pencil brush. And this one would also be good for smudging um, or putting um, eyeshadow underneath um, your eye. So yeah, or smudging, you know, eyeliner. Um, then I have this blush brush, and this is the MAC 129. Um, so, yeah, this one works fine, especially if you travel. So just for blush, it works just fine. I've had, I haven't had any problems with it. Um, then um, going into cheeks, I have this one. This is a MAC 109, and this is like the best foundation brush that I have bought. Um, a lot of people say that it has a lot of fallout. I don't know what me I might be the lucky one because on me um, this one has not had that much fallout and you get really good coverage um, this one's good too but I prefer the 109 um, I used to really like this one uh, the, the the dual fiber and I used to love it it does give good coverage but this one is far better for the job um, you can also use this one as a highlighting brush 
and as a contouring brush just because it's small and it fits right here in the hollow of your cheek. Um, then I have um, this um, bronzing brush that I got from Lancome. This is a Lancome number no. five. Let me see if you can see it. Yeah, Lancome number no. five. Mm, there we go. Okay, and this one's really good for, um, you can either use it for highlighting or for contouring too. I really like this one because of the short handles, so I have a better, better control of the brush. Um, I think this one's synthetic, but it is really soft and dense, very, very dense. I have not tried this one with the good foundation, but I'm, like, thinking about doing that because it's so dense and... It's bigger than the MAC 109, as you can see, a lot bigger. This is more like a kabuki, but it works just, just, I love it. It's just very good. Okay, then I, uh, as for, um, eyeshadow brushes, I have three of the MAC, um, 217. This is a Coastal Scents dupe right here. This is the 217. And then this is the travel size 217. Now, I thought that the travel sizes were the same as the, you know, the full size brushes. But, um, no. There they are. These are two MAC brushes. This one, I'm sorry. This one is the full size. And this one is the, um, the you know, the travel size that they give you. So, as you can see, this one's much more uh, wider than this one. This one's more narrow and they do not work the same. Um, I found I found the full size to be a lot better than the travel size but that's just my opinion. Maybe if you have smaller eyelids this one would work better but I have you know the biggest eyelid in the world so <laughs> anyways and um, compared to the Coastal Sense, the Coastal Sense is just as wide it's just a bit less dense so I don't know if you can see that yeah it's just a bit um, not as dense. This is the MAC, this is the Coastal Sense one. So yeah, but they work really good. The Coastal Sense works really, really good. And this is the uh, C433 Pro Blending Fluff. That's what it's called. Okay, and then um, I have the MAC 226. And this is a, um, I don't know if you can see it, there we go. And this is a blending brush. So if you have smaller lids, this one will probably work better than the 217. Um, just because it's so much smaller. And you can get into the eye to do more detail than this one. Okay. And um, I have this one that I got at Target. It's a Sonia Kachuk. And this, just, this is just a, a shader brush. Flat, flat shader brush. Um, and it is really good. Like, I cannot say anything bad about the Sonia Kashuk because they are so really, really good. I think that um, for the price, you get really good value. Okay, then I got um, a C200, and this I got at Coastal Scents too. Um, it has the longer bristles just because when you dip into um, um, deeper shades of eyeshadow, say black or maybe... Um, darker colors. Um, this one will just give you a light wash on the lid. Um, uh, then let's say this one. Uh, so this one, because of the of the uh, longer bristle, it'll give you a lighter wash. So I really like to use this one with um, darker eyeshadows. I think that they said that this is comparable to a MAC 224. I'm sorry, but I don't have the MAC 224 to compare it with, so yeah. Okay, then I have a an eyeliner brush, a bent eyeliner brush. This one is also by Sonia Kashuk, and I got it at Target too. I think this one was like $10, maybe yeah, $10. Uh, but it's really, really good for eyelining your eye with, um, I'm sorry, with cream liners. So all you have to do in order to use it is just come right here, right here, right here, right here, and like that. And since it's bent, it just makes it real easy to use. So yes, um, that is my 
those are my brushes. Um, I'm looking into getting like a new, well, I have other um, uh, blush brush, brushes that I don't have with me at the moment. Um, but if I can suggest any for you that are starters and you're looking into expanding your um, your brush collection, I would say that for foundation, the MAC 109 is the best. Um, for eyeshadow, uh, the MAC 217. And if you want to do detailing on the eye, I would get either the 219 or the 266. Okay, these work phenomenally fine. Even if you don't get the MAC, just go into Coastal Scents and get something that is similar to this. It'll do the job. Um, and then for, um, if you want, if you have um, smaller lids, this would probably be your guy here. Uh, just because blending is so much easier for smaller lids with this one and getting into the crease. So, yeah. These are my recommendations right here. Okay, and for blush, you know, there's a lot of them out there on the market. I'm sure that um, the MAC 129 would do fine, this one right here. Um, and if you really want um, to splurge on a brush, I would say the MAC 138, but it is pricey. Um, I believe it's like $48, almost $50. I don't even remember how much this this one was, uh, but the quality of the MAC brushes are a lot better than the normal ones. So um, I'm just going to wrap up. Um, if you have any questions on any of the brushes, or if you, you want to know about any of the brushes that I've shown you that I have, uh, please let me know. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.